Hello, and thank you for watching the Weekend Box Office Report. I'm your host, Daniel Kay, having a lamentable hair day. It wasn't really a bad hair day. I didn't want to go that far. And this is the Weekend Report for October 9th through 11th, 2015. In the top ten, there's only one new movie and one notable movie. Uh, the new one, of course, is Pan, which uh, is unnotable because it came in at number three. Uh, it debuted at number three. And uh, I know it's based on Peter Pan, but uh, they really should have thought twice about that title. Um, it, uh, it's from Warner Brothers, and it made $15.3 million. And it uh, cost, reportedly, $115 million to make. Plus double that for um, publicity. They're going to have a hard, hard time with that one. If only he had played Wolverine instead. All right. Um, the Martian, by the way, came in at number one. And uh, here's something interesting. The Walk uh, went wide. Um, it added 2,000 screens, and now it made $3.7 million in its second week, um, which means 1,482 per screen, or about a quarter of uh, what Pan did. Mm, bad news. Let's see. Also coming in, uh, coming in at number 16 on only four screens... Steve Jobs from Universal, the, um, the apparently very, very crowd-pleasing kind of biography of Steve Jobs uh, from Aaron Sorkin. And what did that make? Um, $521,000 or $130,000 per screen. That's going to be the one to watch for next week. Although, who knows? I mean, you know, it's possible we, whenever you get movies about um, tech giants... They're, they get downloaded uh, illegally a lot more. It's like me and um, uh, Mr. Robot. I mean, they were just begging for that. Anyway, I'm sorry. I probably just confessed something I should not have. Coming in at the very bottom of the chart, I mean the very rock bottom, number 98, uh, The Look of Silence from Drift Pictures. Driftwood, Druft, I don't know, really. It just says DRFT, period. Uh, it made 71 bucks on... Ooh. Okay, on one screen... It was on four screens last weekend, but now, in its 13th week, it's only on one, and it didn't make $100. That's pretty sad. Um, coming in, as a matter of fact, it's the only thing that shaved a shout. Gladdy, gladdy, from coming in at the very bottom of the chart. Uh, <laughs> coming in at number 93, Xenia from Strand Pictures. Uh, that made 358 bucks. That's a brand new failure. I keep track of the brand new failures for you, the watcher. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much for watching. The Weekend Box Office Report. I um, hope you enjoyed the hat. We'll be back again next week.